Hey guys, good morning. This is Chef Katrina. I just came off my walk, and unlike most people, I don't listen to music when I go out. Um, I actually listen to self-development um, books to kind of keep me motivated and, and get the mind working first thing in the morning. This is my first thing in the morning look. Um, but I was actually going through one of my, my journals, and we were talking about self-criticism or unworthiness. Um, the book I was reading is The Millionaire, Mar My Millionaire Mindset by T. Harv Ecker, and it talks about how we're unworthy, how we don't feel like we deserve to be rich, how we don't feel like we deserve to <clears throat> have a better life and that we should just settle for what we have and, and how really wrong that is. And it was funny because I started um, one of my other uh, things that I'm doing is journaling and I kind of read a little bit through a um, uh, a course that I purchased that talks about criticism. So they kind of went hand in hand today. And the criticism, I think that the strongest thing I actually underlined it, and I'm looking down at my notes over here, um, it says the fear of criticism is such, in such cases, is so strong, um, is so much stronger than the desire for success. So a lot of times we worry about fear, we worry about criticism, we worry about what other people think. And, and I went through this too. I mean, when I was... Um, you know, working for the company um, as a chef, you know, my biggest fear was that people saw me doing online marketing. They weren't going to, they're going to be like, oh my God, well, you don't know anything about online marketing. You're a chef. You know, what could you possibly know about building a web page and, and teaching social media? Like, you know, you're a cook. So kind of for me, it was like my own criticism, my own uh, fear of, you know, what I was doing. And, you know, in that mindset, I was like, I was unworthy to, make a commitment. I was unworthy to uh, take it a step further. And I want you to know that you don't have to struggle with that. There is nothing wrong. There, there is no fear except for the fear itself. And I know that kind of sounds weird, but if you think about it, it really is that we create our own fear. A lot of the times, if we just did the action, there is no fear because we learn to overcome it. Um, and you see that a lot. A lot of the times you see it in movies, and we see read it in books, and usually those are the most inspirational are the people that got over their fear and actually did uh, what they wanted to do. So self-criticism, uh, the, the doubt, the unworthiness, guys, these are all like mindset pieces. These are all things that we create ourselves in our own head. And the only way to get out of them is to, is to read things like this. This is why when I go on my walks, I take the time to listen to um, books and I, you know, listen and I read and I, and I invest in my education because this helps me transcend my own fears and get out there and do these things. So if you're struggling with a fear, if you're struggling with feeling that you can't do something and that this is just so difficult and hard, guys, it's only as hard and as difficult as you allow it to be. Once you become persistent, once you become consistent, and once you just take action, wow, does the door open up and do things totally change for you? So this is my, you know, quick video, guys. This is my morning uh, thinking process, and I just wanted to capture it and get it down for you. So if you guys are in self-doubt, if you guys are going, oh, this is just so hard, you know, take action, do something, take a little step, because that little step's going to take you to the next one. So uh, you are not unworthy. You are very worthy of, of, you know, creating financial success with network marketing. You are very able and capable of doing anything you set your mind to. So, you guys, this is my video for today. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I love you. Have a good one.